Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to continuing coverage of the APA Pool Player Championships from here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Jason Bowman, joined by the Hall of Fame legend, the striking Viking, Ava Mattia Lawrence. Ava, first match was a good one here today, the green tier of the nine-ball shootout. Now we've got the white tier, a little bit better players in terms of skill level, same $10,000 on the line, should be another great match. No question about it. Two players that have fought through a tough field here and We'll see who's going to be able to handle the pressure of the pressure cooker that is the pit here at the championship round. All right, so let's meet our finalists. We've got out of Woodside, I'm sorry, Woodstown, New Jersey, and you're seeing it as Delaware on the screen there, but he's actually from Woodstown, New Jersey, is Gavin Cesarco. His opponent is out of Woodside, New York, which I believe is in the Queens area of New York, Anastasios Tuios, which is super Greek, he said, and uh, we will try to do our best to pronounce their names correctly throughout the match. Gavin is a skill level six, which means he's going to need 46 points. Anastasios is a skill level five, which means he needs 38 points. APA rules apply here. No coaching allowed. No timeouts, I should say. And as we mentioned, this is the white tier, which is your skill levels four and five. Anastasios, I think I had them backwards. Anastasios is a six, went to a six throughout the tournament, which is why he's out of that four and five, even though we're in the four and five tier, why he comes in a little ahead of that. But he is the one that needs 46 points. Gavin, the skill level five, needs 38 points. Each point worth, or each ball worth one point, nine balls worth two points. And Anastasios will have the break to get us started here in this first rack. Again, we input scores. The staff here at the APA will input scores after each round. So you play six or seven matches straight to get here. That's like six or seven weeks back home and play. And that's how players can go up. Obviously, they're going to be playing really hard to get here, and they must have played pretty well to get to this spot through the whole thing. So every once in a while, somebody will go up in skid level. Great opening here, Anastasios. He made a good break shot. Nine ball was close to going in there, but he does have a shot on the one ball on the side. If he makes this, the cue ball should feed nicely up to the other side of the table for the two ball, potentially the two-three combo. Anastasios said he's been playing eight. about five years. An eight ball loomed large there. Plays out of BQE Billiards back in Queens. In my good friend Ross Banfield's league. Ross, I'm sure, tuning in, rooting on his local player here. Brent, you can get a shout out to your league operators of the year. Jesse and Danielle Hecht down in the Louisville yeah. area. They are some good ones you got there. All right. Ball in hand now to Gavin Cesarco. Again, Gavin is out of Woodstown, New Jersey. Plays in a league out of Delaware. Pocket set two. It's on the board with his first point. All right, four balls right there. And it looks like there's a 5-9 coming up here combination after this shot. Gavin is a lefty, as you can see. Only been playing about two years, he said. Come a long way in that time. There you go. Five, nine combo. So he picks up two more points. There'll be three dead balls in that first rack. Gavin with an early 5 2 lead. Again, he needs 38 points. And while we've got a moment, we're going to hear a word from our friends at pooldog.com.
back here at Pool Dog Arena. Referee working on that second rack of the match. Gavin will have his first break. Again, these players competing for 10,000 first place prize. 5,000 of the runner up. Not a bad payday for either one of these players, however this turns out. Four in the side for Gavin on the break. Yeah, he's got a combo on this two ball. Gonna have to let the cue ball go a little bit. With any luck, it'll break up that three and still give him a shot on the one if he manages to make the combo. Definitely make a ball, but any time, as you know, shooting a combination makes it that much trickier to hit just the right spot. I do believe he got a shot at the one, but where's what's he going to do with the three ball? We'll see if he's a defensive player or if he's just going to go for it here. Well, that turned out pretty sweet. Anastasios is going to be jacked up here over the seven ball. And if you've ever played a game of pool in your life, you know how much more difficult that is than if it was a clean shot. And the cut on this three ball is not easy to begin with. You've got to shorten up where you're holding the cue, jack up real high, and then shorten up your backstroke. Really trust it and go through. Nice shot. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. He had to just let go of the cue ball, just focusing on making that three. But check out now, eight ball right smack in the middle of this in a difficult combination at best. Again, this is Anastasios Tuyos out of Queens, New York, specifically Woodside, New York. Said he's been out here a couple times on teams. First time for the Pool Player Championships. He is undefeated thus far, as is Gavin. Play the defense here, and not a bad one either, Jason. You don't see anywhere near as many defensive shots played in nine ball as you do in eight ball. But it's definitely, definitely something to look at making one tough shot if you can't get past that or get position on your next one it's not going to do much good it'll give you that one point oh wow nice, nice shot but if you can play a good defensive shot get ball in hand you could actually make two three four five balls instead all right we got far enough out on this seven Beauty with this shot is going to get the bridge here, but the beauty of this shot is you make that seven ball. You'd really have to get unfortunate to get on this side of the eight. Other than that, he could easily pick up three more points here. Gavin plays out of Scooters, AJ's, and the Woodstown Hotel back in Woodstown, New Jersey. Well, Gavin's got to use the extension on his cue instead of a bridge. Can tall, he's a tall guy. Got there just enough. But we'll see where this cue ball is going to end up. I think it stopped just in time to leave him a, a decent shot on the eight ball here. Thin cut backwards into the corner. Only drawback here is you're really going to have to let the cue ball go. It seems like the pockets are always bigger for the cue ball than they are for any other ball on the table. So be careful. Nice. He avoided the scratch and left himself a tester. And that turned out to be a little bit more than he bargained for, so here comes Anastasios. Yeah, four point swing here. Yeah, he really. Anastasios can pocket this nine. 
Is it Anastasios? Anastasios. Anastasios. Am I bad? I apologize. Anastasios Tuyos. We have a I'm friend named Anastasia. That's why I kind of went with a... <laughs> had his name mispronounced once or twice. Yeah, I'm before. sure. But Anastasios shooting on the nine and, and pockets, pockets the nine. pockets it. Picks up two points. Score now 12-5 in favor of Gavin. Did have three dead balls in that first rack with the early nine ball. Some folks commenting about the referee from the first match, but the referee well, the referee stands. is close enough to see what was happening yeah, there. A lot of players play bar pool, and they don't necessarily know what to look for in a double hit, but that's not something the referee just made up. If the referee is going to make the best call from the vantage point they have. And if he's going to call that there, you know he feels pretty confident that he is correct. So yes, yes. You know, you cannot agree with it, or you can agree with it, but it is what it is. It's done. Yeah. We stand by the referee, and so... Always all do. The, all the comments in the world on Facebook are not going <laughs> to change anything. But no. Uh, There's a lot of gambling out here in Vegas, but trust me, the referee did not have a horse no. in this race. So the referee is they have a very close-up look at it. Be. Yeah. You can also hear it when you're watching that, when you're that close to it. So. Anastasios with another break. Nice break. One ball. Oh, I thought the one was going on the side. Very solid. Not a lot of power, but he. one thing you want to do in this format in particular is to control the cue ball. You do not want to scratch because ball in hand really changes things, needless to say. So you need to keep the control of that cue ball even if you don't make a ball on the break. Pocketing the one ball nicely there, but now what? It's going to have to go, I guess, one or two cushions it's the option. Neither one of us an easy kick. Now referee's got a good vantage point where he can see if it's a good hit. Shouldn't be a problem to tell. And we'll see what Nastasios can do here with the two ball. I don't know. He might be able to make the two off the four in the side pocket. If he hits it firm enough. But I, I think it'll pass in the corner too, no? No, he's going for making the two ball off the four in the side. We could just shoot a stop shot there, and he'll be right there for the three. Two points there. Two in the four. All right, I think we have a billiard coming up here. Just shooting the cue ball into this. Oops, there we go. On the right side of the, just clipping the five ball. Could make the nine in the corner there. Nice smooth little shot. Right, just a, a little too much of the five. Good stroke there. That nine ball has been getting moved twice now towards the side pocket, so might be another combo here if Gavin can make the six. The angle he has, the nine ball combo is very makeable. I doubt that the seven can go by clearly, but it's tough to tell from here. Only Gavin knows. Nice shot. Another two points there. Another two points. Another two dead balls with the early nine. Yep, Mrs. Bowman is tuned in to watch. Mrs. Bowman. Mrs. Bowman. The rack the the rock 
behind all the issues See, we have yeah. us league operators to get the event ready for August. She is on top of it. Yeah. Shout out to you, woman. She's also the CEO of Bowman Enterprises. I don't know if you knew that. But I did not. She oversees uh, I, all the, pretty much everything <laughs> in the household. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm afraid to ask she what that is, is but now it makes sense. She is the CEO. And CFO, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She is the president, the board of directors, everything in between. Gavin will have the break here, leading 17 to 8. Again, a solid break, but came up dry there. I wonder if he can, could be looking at a three ball combo here, or he might want to see if he can squeeze that one ball, one rail, and make the combination on the nine. I don't see a real good defensive shot here. You can play a two way shot, go for the nine, and then sneak the cue ball in behind the six and four. Tried for a defensive shot there and kind of sort of worked out. Not what he had in mind. Got the cue ball behind the blockers, but lost control of where the white the one ball was going. It's a great opportunity again to play a defensive shot, but Gavin's going all out. Let's open it up here for a one and a quick two nine again. It's that one in the corner. Anastasios wanted to make sure we said hello to his girlfriend and his mother and all of his family tuning in. Let's see if he plays the billiard here. Just thin hit on the two ball. And there wow. it goes. It drops. Another two points there for Anastasios. Seven dead balls there, I believe. Had some early nines mm -hmm. to start out this match. We've got a moment. Want to make sure we thank our presenting sponsors, PoolDog.com, for all of their support in helping us bring you this great coverage of the Pool Player Championships. As well as Aramith Billiard Balls, the premier billiard balls used on all 300 plus tables here at our event and action cues the official cue of the APA and of course the folks at the Westgate Las Vegas taking good care of us Anastasios with another break here looking over the rack And ask for a slight adjustment from the referee. Now we talk a lot about nerves being out here, and I'm sure they're feeling it, but both of these players seem really confident, really focused. But you know their hearts are pounding. $10,000 and a forever trophy. As the champion of 2022 in nine ball, that's not it. That's something to feel a little bit nervous about, Jason. Got the five on the oh, break. Oh, wow. Now Good the break six there. Ball. Wow. Can makes this one ball. Check it out. It's laying really pretty. Kind of a soft medium stroke here, just pocketing the one. It doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. It should be able to come in to the rail and back out for this two. Three is open. Doesn't have to do that much with the cue ball. Three to the four is perfect. Four to the seven. Seven to the eight 
is the toughest shot he's going to have besides making this long shot on the one. Oh, boy. Did he get away with one? A lot of class there. Turned around to his opponent and kind of apologized for getting lucky right there. Part of the game. Balls go in in the wrong pocket. You miss and snooker someone. I mean, it's it's going to happen. But still a classy move by Anastasios. You see that a lot on the pro tour. It's part of the game, but just a little, hey, you know. Sorry, buddy. Right. Oh, nice Did kick. Make good contact. Good and shot. To a rail, so we'll bring Anastasios back to the table. I'm told Anastasios is affectionately known as the Greek freak back home. The Greek freak. The Greek freak. And that's, that's a good name. That's a name he appreciates. So I like it. Yes. And he did tell me before the match when we were working on the pronunciation of his name, he said, I'm super Greek. I'm super, super Greek. Super Greek. Yeah. I don't think he could deny that with a name. Anastasios that Tuyos. That's good a fun name, name to yeah. say. All right. Let's see if he can get down here for the two ball. No, it's jumping up just a little bit. Easy to do when you have a shot like that. You're not 100% sure about position. So there's a little part of your brain that's thinking, I don't know if I can get on the two. And just that little bit of non-focus on the one ball can easily result in what happened there, that he missed the one. So Gavin pockets the one in the corner instead. Gavin wanted to give a shout out to his girlfriend Marley and his buddies back home, Jake and Colton. And then his mom and his grandparents and the rest of his family. Nice defensive shot there. This is a tough kick. Whenever the cue ball is this close to the cushion, it tends to bend a little bit, so it's harder to judge. You've got to take that into account. And that is a very common mistake. Whenever you want the cue ball to be a little bit farther off to the rail like that so it can naturally roll the way it's supposed to, but it kind of bends a little bit. And that's going to result in, I would think, at least two, three points minimum for Gavin here. Didn't quite get where he wanted on the four, though, so you can't really roll this up. Could glide off in the corner pocket, so he's going to have to draw this. Nice shot. And is he going to get there? Definitely makeable. Gavin is really tall, so he may be able to do this without an extension or on his cue. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, and that's right. He's left-handed on top mm -hmm. of it. That doesn't hurt. Eight in the corner. Yeah, left a little pressure shot here. This would put him ahead at 25 to 13. And Gavin is only racing to 38 points. It's the nine in the corner. Nice shot. Even Anastasios applauds. Going to show his sportsmanship, recognizing. Nice run out there by his opponent. Nice shot here at Pool Dog Arena. Still two championships to be decided after our white tier here. We've got the gray tier, which will be, what, about 2 o'clock Pacific today. And then mm -hmm. we've got the, the black tier. The highest skilled tier. That'll be at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Gavin will have.
have the break again. Anastasio's job right now is just to stay focused. Uh oh. He's going to get something. He's going to get wall in hand. <laughs> he right. was trying to wheel it in. <laughs> you could see him there. He was smiling and just kind of reeling it in like a like a fish. Come on, cue ball. All right. So the one ball will go down as a dead ball. Anastasios will have ball in hand. A little trickier rack here than we've seen in the past. So ball in hand, he's going to have to see if he can get up here. A little bit of an angle. Punch, draw it back out for the three. As you can see, the three ball will pass in the same corner. If he wants to get it right about in here, it would be perfect to get on the four from there. Oh, he's going to go down and shoot the three in the corner. You know, it's funny because playing my whole life on a nine-foot table, these are not the shots you want. You want to do anything but having to shoot all the way down the length of the table. On a seven-foot table, on the other hand, a lot of the players will have no fear of shooting from down here back up to the far side of the table. Nice shot. Just oh, to clarify, too, too Anastasios too Tuyos is, in fact, a skill level 6, which means he's going to 46 points. Gavin Sisirko is skill level 5, needing 38 points. That information is correct. At the outset of the broadcast, we reverse those. But what you're seeing on your screen is correct. Gavin is a five. Anastasios the six. Anastasios tried to make that four ball off the six there to be able to hold the cue ball for the five. Didn't quite work out. He was on the wrong side. He just drifted that cue ball up a little bit too far to get the automatic angle that he needed from the four to the five. But Gavin could get that one ball. He's got... At best, he's got some kind of a bank here. I guess a bank back to the left hand, the upper corner there. Going to be hard to get all the way down for the six. Even if nice. he makes it, he made it. He made it. What a shot. Is he going to get away with this one? I think he is. Anastasio's not too excited about yeah. getting out of that chair. Grimaced a little bit there. Yeah. A couple of times now that he's been faced with this where Gavin's missed a shot and left him nothing. Somehow it's more acceptable. You feel better when they play a safety on you and you come to the <laughs> table and you have nothing than when your opponent missed and you go, ooh, I'm going to get a shot. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> But it's only one rack away, and it would tie it up. Anastasios is definitely not out of this match by any means. He needs a few things to go his way to get to an open table to where he can do some damage. But with Gavin only needing eight balls now, five are available on the table. He makes this six ball. Oh, he scratched. All right, Anastasios, this is it, buddy. You're going to have to make something happen here. This could bring, bring it to 27-19 with him breaking, so the match could turn right here if he can finish this out and make these three balls on the table. thought he was going to play the opposite and shoot the 
try to get to the eight ball from where he is now, but he's going to go ahead and just tap this in. Oh, we got him 50-yard line. Yeah, scratching himself in the head there, going, you know, one or the other, either corner, but he is right in the middle. Shooting it over here in this pocket right here is obviously going to leave him a better chance at perfect position for the eight. <clears throat> but this is when you shoot whatever you're comfortable with. Got to make this eight ball to stay in this match, I would think. Nice shot. Nice shot there under the pressure. <laughs> and two more. Watch out. Two more, <laughs> two more points. You see Anastasio pumping his fist. He is knowing what big shots those were to end that rack and the fact that he will have the break. He's having fun out there, though. You know, coming all the way out here playing for the championship and even in the matches before that, I've seen more people kind of, the you know, the opponents high-fiving each other, laughing, talking. I had one of the players from the Coastal Carolina APA area who ended up finishing fifth, sixth. And like two, three matches into it, I walked in to watch some of his matches, and he was, they were laughing so hard. He told me after the match, I got to center myself, he says, because I'm having too much fun. We were, you know, talking and laughing like it was on league night. I got to remember that I'm here to try to, <laughs> to try to win this tournament. So Anastasios knows he's got a lot of work to do here. Was relieved to get make that eight and get out of that rack. Definitely needs to make a ball on the break here. Control that cue ball from going off the table and hopefully get a shot here at the one. It's kind of a soft break there mm. and nothing went in. Mm. The only saving grace is no path. <laughs> There's no path from the one ball to the corner there. You can see the five ball has it blocked. And we just tap this, send the one ball to the because he was trying to get behind the five. Not what he had in mind, but a lot of traffic up there. If you're just joining us, you're watching coverage of the nine ball shootout, the white tier. The second Good shot four there. championships to be decided today here in Pool Dog Arena. Gavin Cesarco at the table, leading in this match. Gavin's going to try to play two rails down at the end rail, side rail. Come in and hit this one. Not only did he, oh, nice one. shot. Nice shot. Just barely caught a part of it. And left a tricky one again. A little tougher to play a defensive shot here. I don't know if he can make the bank shot here. Should be able to well, I might be able to cut it in, but I don't I don't like it. If you hit the if he can bank it even down this way, he might be able to make that four ball off the seven. There it is. Is it going to fall? It didn't it fall. Gonna Turned out to probably be a good thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Brings Gavin back to the table. Gavin 11 points away. Keep an eye on that scoreboard, but tough situation here. It's going to go around three cushions and try to get between the two and the seven to get to that one ball. No, no but it did take away a couple of important points from Anastasios. Even if he runs this table, that's two points that are dead now. Anastasio okay. will have ball in hand. Still eight points on the table, Jason. I'm 
makes you so sure he gives himself the angle here to come up for the three. Past that six ball that's laying right there to kind of threaten. Pockets the one. Here's where an established player or somebody has been playing for a while, you get over on the other side to really pick where you want to be. Not kind of, sort of, not necessarily from that side, but this is devastating if he doesn't get position on this three ball. You really want to go over and see where do you want to be. He did not, and I hope that that, for his sake, <laughs> just enough. Just enough. He'll take it. Nice. Again, both of these players, just like all the other players in our championship arena and the singles, have qualified through the our qualifying program called a lot of times called singles boards. Pay twenty bucks normally, and if you win the board, three matches, boom, you're going to the regional championship, and your hard hardest work is done. Then you go to the regionals from there. Get uh, your, you know pretty much all your flight, depending on what, if you want to go first class or whatever, but you get your flight paid for, your hotel room fa paid for, come out here and a chance, a nine ball to play for 10,000 for first place. Not too shabby. No way. Besides all the other places that are paid out, obviously. Yeah. Anastasio trying to run out this rack. I believe that would tie the score. And pick up these last four points. Of course, he needs an additional eight points beyond what Gavin needs based on their skill level difference. Is he banking this? <laughs> you know, Banked it nice. quite nicely, actually. Made a statement there, didn't it? Didn't he? Banks are open up there in yeah. Queens. Yeah. Gavin's made a couple good ones and uh, kind of returned the favor there. We saw this in the last match as well. We had one player just kind of, Melinda kind of took charge of the match, got the rolls here and there, and then things switched. And Abby came on and she got the rolls, and that's just how it tends to go in these pool matches. It was all Gavin, 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 and Anastasios is not going for it. He says, I'm here too. Very nicely done. Fires in that nine ball for two more points. We are tied at 27 apiece. Again, there is an eight-point differential, though, because of the skill level difference. Anastasio will have the break in this next rack. Referee prepares the rack. Nice crowd we've got here, Ava and Pool Dog Arena. Seats really starting to fill up as people roll out of bed after Cinco <laughs> de Mayo yesterday. And I saw when I was walking through the hotel yesterday, they had a, um, what do they call them, mariachi band? Right. Yeah, in the front right. by the Elvis statue. Oh, plant. did they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fun. It was pretty cool. They I had mean, it all big, decorated big, and every stuff. Big yeah. Mariachi. I mean, there was probably 20 of them. That's great. Yeah. I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, you get into it, so. We mentioned this earlier, but our U.S. Amateur Championship entry window now open if you are one of the better players in your league area and you want to test your skill. He's asking. Slight adjustment again. A little space there. For me, if that ball is not touching, I would leave it alone because that's usually what gets the nine ball flying there. Top three need to be frozen, but sometimes when that those back two are off a little bit, or even th th then that can really benefit you as far as 
Getting lucky and making the nine on the break. Somebody's asking how old he is and how long has he been shooting. A young lady wanting to know. <laughs> I don't know how old he is. I'm assuming we're talking about Gavin. Gavin's been playing for only two years, he said. Anastasios, who's at the table, been playing for six years. Back in Queens. Well, he asked for the adjustment to the rack, but nothing on the break. Although the break worked. I have to kick at this one ball. I doubt that he's going to miss the hit on this. Oh, he's going to try to curve around it a little bit. That didn't work quite. He did get to it, though. Yeah, so it's yeah. A legal shot, and look where it ends up. Hit a rail. Got away with one there. This is a big rack here. Kind of a big turnaround in this in this match. Gavin, only twenty years old. I, that's the second oh, twenty-year-old wow. we've seen in the. Uh, yeah, I think, the the I think that's great. Had one the other day. I think that's great. Classic. More and more, we're seeing that on our local level in uh, in the Coastal Carolina APA too. More and more young people mm -hmm. getting into this game. A lot of the beginners that have told me that they've, you know, not just seen Fool on TV and ESPN for years, but are starting to find all this, you know, progr these programs we have on YouTube that sit there forever. You can go back and watch these matches, and they go, wait a minute, I might be able to do this. They're joining in. All right, got himself a shot at the three, but you got the three, four, seven... I'm thinking he's going to play a defense here. Well, it was an attempt at one. Did he get away with it? He did. That three ball is not makeable, but an easy defensive shot here. Just hit this three ball. Can draw back a little bit, hide behind the four, the six, unless he's looking at, uh, I don't think the bank combo is there. I don't know if he can hit enough of the three to do it, maybe. Worth a shot. Two-way shot here. Defense and the bank. And how did Look that, that bank work out? Oof. Oh, wow. Nearly but you see, he had a backup nine. plan. Yeah. That was a smart shot. One thing you learn a lot from watching, like, pro matches or your sevens, you know, your sevens and eight or nines and eight, nines and nine ball is just because you can't always execute things. But if you watch matches, you really learn little moves that you can come up with. And it paid off. He made contact with a three, but no rails. So kind of a must-win rack here for Anastasios, and he is on his way. about checks and balances for sandbagging. <laughs> we have lots and lots of checks and balances. Every player that comes out here is thoroughly reviewed before they arrive. They are reviewed after every round. We have observers here watching their matches. Yeah, contrary to some other... And um, sometimes, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. sometimes we do have to disqualify players. Yes, I think we had somebody here this, this year. Which is not something we enjoy doing, but, you know, if you have to protect the oh integrity it's horrible. of the event. So, you know, it's not uncommon when we get on the stream either. Everybody's underrated or overrated. So if you're getting frustrated with some of the comments of the folks with nothing better to do, <laughs> don't let them bother you. It's, it's, no. it's either one or the other. Very rarely do Ava and I see comments that say, these people are exactly rated correctly. So No, that some people actually get really happy when they play horrible because they were unhappy because then they have nothing to complain about. So, yes, I mean, some people handle this better. Some are on. Sometimes the balls roll their way. The opportunities are there. 
doesn't mean everything is perfect all the time, but everybody is fighting every day, locally and nationally, to make sure we have a great tournament here. Gavin with another three big points out there, now five points away. He can finish this rack off. He will have the break. Oh. Where's the eight gonna stop, though? That's the question. Well, Sigh good opportunity. Relief, I gotta think for Anastasio. So you bet. That was gonna be the end of that rack. You know, he's still very much in this. 18 points can go real fast if he can get these three right here. He'll have the break. The match is definitely not over yet. Pockets the eight. Nicely the done. And now he'll turn his attention to that nine in the side. Two more points. And he is at 30. So Anastasios now 16 points away. Gavin five points away. Anastasios will have the break here. Ava, if there was ever a time for a break and Oof, run, you're no this kidding, might huh? be it, right? Yeah, one more point I want to make, too, as far as one of the things that we give everybody at the beginning of um, – one of our matches here at this tournament, the same thing in the teams, is an opportunity to certify yourself. So the player has a chance. You know, let's say you try to drink a little bit too much on Wednesday night or you just want to go out and have fun with your team and all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're in the championship, you go to Vegas. Um, in, in, and on a local level too, we give all the players a chance to certify themselves higher if they go, yeah, I'm going to be taking it seriously today. I know I'm a four, but I really feel like I should be playing as a five. Now, you don't do that and you go and you certify as a four and you go up to a six here. Chances are that you're going to go home and pack your suitcase because you had a chance <laughs> to kind of say, yeah, you know, some players think they might get away with something, but we're always working our butts off locally and the national office does a great job looking through every single player. They have a handicap review, review committee, and we're doing everything we can to protect the integrity of, of the APA in general, and especially our championships. Another dry break there for Anastasios. Yeah, and Gavin stepping to the table with a shot here. Licking his chops. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Anastasios hops right back up. <laughs> he got out of the chair fast that Quickly time, didn't possible. he? What an opening for him. One ball just sitting in the corner there. He needs to take his time here and really focus and make sure that he decides where he wants the cue ball. If it fails, that's one thing, but don't kind of sort of play position. You need to nail it here. And he's already gotten a little bit out of line. I think he can make this two ball, but getting position on the three is not as automatic as it would be if he had gone another four or five inches here. Safety there by Anastasios. All right, Chris Walden he gets another says, shot at it. Gavin wins. I'm taking you out to dinner. Deal. <laughs> Is that a deal? Deal what? <laughs> Chris said, Ava, if Gavin wins, I'm taking you out to dinner. Deal? <laughs> yeah. Free there food? You go, there you go. Aren't you jumping on an airplane <laughs> as soon as we're out of here, though? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ava busts out about I 10 minutes after the final. Fires in that two in the it corner. Sure did. With a oh. Thor tie. Not thrilled with the outcome of that, though. The fact that the seven dragged down with the cue ball. 
Once again, we are tied in points. There is a differential in the race, though. Eight-point difference. Let's see if Anastasios can cut into that difference here. Hmm. few different options here. Obviously, the combo, that's really difficult. There's a billiard. If you shoot the cue ball here, go into the safe, the seven ball to make it there, the three will come towards the pocket. You could play a defense, kind of banking the one ball down here, sending the cue ball in this direction, but none of it is easy. But he needs to make something happen. Look at this. Look at, oh, it just got, that looked like that ball was going. There was some awes Side from the crowd. The eight ball there. It looked like it was going to go in that top pocket. Yeah, I'm from judging from his facial expressions, Gavin has an open shot at the three. Is he going to get on this four ball? No. And he, even if he just gets one ball at a time, if he gets enough chances, he's close enough where he can do something. Okay, one more opportunity here. I don't know how many more there'll be for <laughs> Anastasios. He needs to make something happen here. Time is running out. Seven points on the table here. For the man affectionately known as the Greek Freak. The Greek Freak. It's time. This is not the time to freak out. you got to stay solid here. He ended up straight on this four ball. You may want to just draw it back. Or can he cheat the pocket and come out two cushions? Oh, he could come out one, but no problem. Once again, there you go. Time. Take your time and go over and decide where you want to be. I like seeing that. Remember that, everybody. Don't take it for granted and kind of peek over, be lazy. Take one second. Walk around the table. Check it out. Decide where you want to be. And then if you fail to get there, you're hitting it too hard, too soft, whatever, but at least you have a plan. Even our pros get a little bit lazy with that. That's one thing I admire about the, the European players. They really take the time. We've discussed this before, the difference between some of the American players. They've gotten way better at it now. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. He jumped straight up in the air. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it's here he for the taking. Four points. There are four points out there. Sure are. Now three. He had his opportunity twice in a row and just quite, couldn't quite get there. That would... It, that would Two points two, away two for ball. Gavin. Yep. For us rail birds that enjoy a close match. All right. Nine I don't ball know if we're going to get it. Don't think we're going to get it here. Nine ball for the win. Well done. <laughs> Good match. Good sportsmanship. I love it. Gavin <laughs> yeah. Cesarco, folks. <laughs> Woodstown, New Jersey. You're a nine ball shootout champion in the white tier and a great show of sportsmanship there between these two players. Really enjoy seeing that. Great sportsmanship. That's cool. Gavin, a little emotional My here. Awesome. Hey guys, it's Casey. I am here at the APA Pool Player Championships, winner of the nine ball shootout in the white tier. Gavin Circo, how are you feeling right now? I feel amazing. Yeah, I, I've worked so hard for this event. It's so amazing to finally win it. So tell us about the journey getting here to this point. Lots of practice. Tell us about it. I, I started two years ago and I practiced, you know, an hour to a day. I just have climbed up this like mountain almost. Sure. And, you know, with my dad's help, man, I got here. Sure. So, so it was a very close match. So what was your game plan going into it to win it tonight? Just to play the best of my ability. I mean, I just, you know, when I had shots, take them. If I had saves, take them. Sure. So any um, tips that you could give any beginning pool players since you are 
um, a high-level skill player and uh, had such a great accomplish accomplishment here today. Um, you know, if you if you know any higher skill level players, definitely go and ask them if they can help you. Uh, see if you can find any like professional players or even semi-pro players to play, and um, just practice, 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 practice. Makes perfect. So you're pretty young. Any big plans for your ten thousand um, dollars? Definitely a new car. Definitely a new car. I need a new car. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Any big shout outs you want to give to anyone watching at home? <laughs> Shout out my boys, Jake and Colin. Shout out my girlfriend, Marley. Shout out my mom. Shout out my grandparents. Shout out my uncle. Um, shout out everyone in my family. And um, shout out all the boys back home. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations again. Thank Great you shooting. So much. Thanks. All right, Ava, proud moment there for Gavin Cicero. He almost got father, me there. <laughs> yeah. His father there looking his dad on as is well. Dad is that? Oh wow! As they That's embrace so cool. here in Pool Dog Arena, great That's moment. So cool. We've seen so many great moments here at the Pool Player Championships. Ava, two matches to go. Again, congratulations to Gavin Cicero, your champion in the white tier. Anastasios Tuyos out of Queens, New York. Congratulations as our runner-up in the white tier. Ava, it's about that time. We got some prize money to hand out, some trophies. And, folks, we will be back at 2 p.m., I believe, with continuing coverage of the APA Pool Player Championships. So come back and join us then. We'll see you then.